My name is Mike Gallia. I'm the wastewater treatment plant senior maintenance worker here for the city of Davis. Our job is to make sure that all the equipment is reliable. I mean, if you lose, say, your influent pumps, which are the water that comes in, if those fail, you start backing up the system, which starts overflowing out on the streets or in the city. So that's why you want that equipment always running correctly and flawlessly. Traditionally here at our plant, we have submersible mixers. We pull them once a year, uh, no matter what, check our oils, bearings, analyze, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes we're doing it twice a year. So it takes a lot of time for us as a maintenance team to go through all our mixers because here we have about 15 of them. We've had two of our mixers fail on bearings. Uh, we did our annual maintenance on them every year per manufacturer spec, but the bearings usually have about a 20,000 hour life to them. So they either meet the 20,000 hours or they don't. And the problem for us is they didn't. We have a filtrate tank, um, which is the water coming off of our screw press for our dewatering. Um, we had huge blankets of sludgy polymer that didn't sink or settle, it actually stayed on top. We have uh, measurement devices that read levels, so it was messing with those. And then when the, the tank gets low, our pumps were, they're kind of hammering because you're getting these big slugs of this, this mat of polymer and sludge going through there. Cleaning the tank was, it was a chore. We were spending two people about eight to maybe 14 hours of trying to break up the top mat so we could get it pumped out. About a year ago, we got the false air system installed, and ever since then, no more maintenance on there. The benefit of having the pulse air mixer for us, as opposed to, say, a traditional mixer that you could take in and out, is we don't have to worry about having equipment inside of the tank anymore. You have to have an air compressor, and then you have the HMI, which interface, that you're able to control how often you want the pulse to go in your tank. The air goes through a regulator, so you can set your pressures. And then we have accumulator plates that are positioned in certain areas of the tank so we get the proper mixing. We went from about a six to eight inch layer top foam to about half an inch. And as soon as the bubbles come up, it breaks it up and everything dissipates. Now when we empty the tank, the tank's empty. You can hose from up top. There's no thick layer that we have to actually go down there and hand move with a broom or a squeegee. Uh, basically, you could applicate the water from up top and have a quick rinse down, take about an hour or so. And the only maintenance that we've done is absolutely nothing. It's maintenance free. And as a maintenance person at a wastewater treatment plant, when I hear maintenance free, I say, yeah, no way. But now that we have the system, I, I started believing it. It's working great. It's just less moving parts and just more reliability.